Reverse Atomic RR is a retrograde reaming system used for ACL, PCL, and meniscus root tunnel creation. The drill features a self-deploying flat cutting tooth, a robust design, proximity indicators, a sharp trocar tip, and a removable K-wire inside a cannulated drill to enable suture passing with a nitinol passing loop. Place the side-specific Versatomic RR femoral guide through the lateral portal and over the center of the ACL footprint. Insert the bullet into the guide and advance to the lateral cortex. Read the length of the femoral tunnel indicated by the etched lines on the bullet. Drill in a clockwise forward direction through the lateral cortex. Once the reamer head has penetrated the femoral condyle into the joint space, rotate the bullet 90 degrees and remove the guide. When the black etch mark on the drill head is in line with the aperture of the tunnel, slide the rubber grommet flush to the head of the bullet. Ream in a counterclockwise direction, which will automatically activate the cutting tooth with bone. Remove the blue handled K wire, insert the suture passing loop through the reamer into the joint, and pull it through the lateral portal. Then remove the reamer. Repeat this process to drill the tibial tunnel. Place the guide. Insert the bullet and drill to the desired depth. Remove the blue handled K wire and reamer. Pull the femoral loop back into the joint space and both loops through the medial portal. Load the femoral pro cinch speed stitch through the femoral loop and pull through the femoral tunnel. Once the lead and flip sutures are through the skin, unthread the speed stitch. Pull in line with the graft tunnels until the button passes the cortex. Pull on the green lead suture while keeping enough tension on the white suture to keep out slack. Use the flip suture to deploy on the cortex. Use the flip suture in combination with the lead suture to ensure the button has fully flipped. Incrementally tension the adjustable loop by pulling on the tensing tails. Alternate pulling the tensioning tails to adjust the loops a few millimeters at a time. Continue tensioning until the desired length is achieved. Load the tibial pro cinch speed stitch through the nitinal loop and pull through the tibial tunnel. Once the lead and flip sutures are through the skin, unthread the speed stitch, pull on the lead suture and deploy the button. Use the tensioning tails to incrementally advance the graft fully into the tibial tunnel.